Hi, I'm Kevin Hartley and welcome to Kevin Hartley Photography, a channel I've set up on YouTube to showcase my photography, my experiences in wildlife and nature. Come and join me. Good morning and welcome to another edition of On The Road with Kevin Hartley Photography. Today I'm at the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds Nature Reserve Langford Lowfields which is situated just to the east of Newark and the A1 motorway. The aim today is to have a walk around the reserve, see what's around, get some good photographs, hopefully, <laughs> take some video and generally just see what's about and share both the photographs and the experiences today. So let's go. Entrance to the reserve from the car park is by following the footpath and then you come up to a small wood there's a track that goes through the wood uh, once you get to the end of that track it then opens out into um, a good footpath that goes for about 800 meters and on the left hand side there are open pits gravel pits with lakes in it and on the right hand side it's open farmland and small woods Okay, here I am just walking through the, the wooded area and I see off to my right hand side quite a large group of pheasant sitting in the field start of their day having breakfast quite a few young ones I've got no idea that I'm watching them so that's pheasants to start the day. Once you get to the end of the, the trackway, which is about 800 metres from the, the car park, you'll come to this sign, uh, which points to, onto the reserve and also leading onto the River Trent and the, the Valleyway walking trail. On entry into the reserve you'll find that there are a number of trails but due to Covid they're operating a, a one-way system at the moment uh, which is off to the right so this has actually come onto the, the reserve so we just have a view to see what it's like weather today is not too bad um, slight breeze dry a um, little bit overcast um, but really pretty perfect for photography I would think uh, well, let's, let's, let's hope so. So this is the view from the top of the reserve as you come onto it. And at the top, or as you come onto the reserve, there is the reception hut, which isn't manned today, which is just here. So that's the view of the reserve. Here we have the pathway which goes around uh, the, the main lake. Um, as you can see, uh, lots of bramble bushes to the left and lots of cover to the right. And this is where you'll find smaller birds like goldfinch, long-tailed tit, great tit, chiffchaff and other small birds. Here we are on the eastern side of the main pool at RSPB Langford Lowfield and I'm just you can see a grey heron and a couple of white egrets in the distance. So we'll just zoom in. Firstly the grey heron. A little grebe just to, sorry not a little grebe, a great crested creep juvenile just to the right with its parent in the, the, the background. We have a grey heron here. Lovely big bird. Grey heron. And then as I said, you can just find it, a little egret, right up at the far end. And hopefully we'll get a little bit closer to him and get some closer photographs of the little egret. And then in front of him, female shoveler. Shoveler preen. Look at the very distinctive beak on the shoveler. Obviously used for shoveling for food. And here I am stood on the area of, of the floating bridge, which we'll just come to view in a minute. 
this is the floating bridge which is surrounded by quite extensive reed beds um, you could hear quite a few warblers earlier on um, trying to see them as a different matter altogether so this is the floating bridge area here at RSPB Langford Lowfields and here I found a pair of mating dragonflies I think it's a common hawker the male on the top and the female on the bottom this is the position that they adopt when they're copulating you'll see that the female which is on the bottom her appendage is just under the male's thorax and that's where the copulation takes place and the dragonflies is one of my favorite subjects to photograph and this is the very first video I've ever taken of dragonflies trying to photograph them in flight is pretty um, difficult in fact it's not pretty difficult it's extremely difficult and it's a, a, an area that I'll be looking at in great detail next year a bit late in the season now but a pair of hawker drag dragonflies I'm sure it's a migrant hawker I'll need to yeah yeah it's a migrant hawker you can tell by this small triangle at the base of the thorax small yellow triangle I wonder if I can I get can I get right in on that did you just see it there come out a little bit blowing in the wind it's you just see the small yellow triangle at the base of the male's thorax great to see Here we have the view from the northern end of the reserve um, sitting pretty much on the banks of the River Trent looking across the reserve and that's back to where the hut is Just find it. There, yeah, that's the entrance into the reserve. It's got a lot of grey and overcast now. And the wind's picked up. But that gives you pretty much a good view of the whole area. Here we are again on the northern side of RSBB Langford Lowfield and we're looking out onto the Cromford Weir. Now this is kind of close to my heart this place because back on the 28th of September 1975 during an 80 mile night navigation exercise in extreme weather conditions 10 members of the 131st Parachute Squadron Royal Engineers were killed after a power failure caused the navigation lights on the weir to go out and the boat went over the crest. I served in the Royal Engineers for 24 years and in fact I actually attended the funeral of one of the sappers who was killed here uh, when I was a young army cadet back in 1975 just before I joined the army so a very sad place for the Corps of Royal Engineers, my corps. There are a number of trails around the reserve this one's known as the seasonal trail and they open this up once the breeding season is over and you can get access um, very good access through the trail water and iron on the side with extensive reed beds as well. And here we have one of the, if not the, the largest viewing screen on the reserve. So what we'll do is we'll take a walk up to this and this looks out over the, the southern part of the reserve. So we'll take a walk up here and we'll see if we can see anything. And here we have the, the pathway leading up to what's known as the 360 degree viewing area. So we're just going to take a walk up here and have a look around the 360 degree viewing area. So here we are at the 360 degree viewing area uh, screen. So what we'll do is we'll just have a 360 degree view. Large expansive open area of old gravel pits. I'm just seeing a cormorant just land in front of me. See if he's still there by the time we get back. And this goes right around us there. That's up towards the, the bank in the River Trent. And we're now coming back to look on the 
back end of the reserve where we started this morning with the main pool and across to the hut and there we have a group of swans or geese flying across can we get them? there they are coming in to land on the water so we'll come back round again nice big open air, that's over towards the present day quarry and background to where we started we have got cormorant out on the water here, just dive down now fishing so we'll just sit here and see if he comes up with anything and hopefully we can film it obviously the cormorant can hold its breath for quite a while a little bit overcast today but not too bad there he is, he's back up again has he got anything? no he's not not this time cormorant And again, here we have beautiful swans just coming across in front of me, sorry geese, skiing, there's a group of geese flying, it's called, it's called a skiing. I've got a family of great crested grebes just out here, just in front of me, these are the two young ones, two juveniles, mum's actually fishing at the moment, you tell the juveniles about the markings on the face, um, sort of like black and white stripes. They're known as humbugs um, when they're chicks and the mothers often carry them on their back when they're young. Obviously too big for that now. Now uh, where's mum? Mum. Getting very vocal. Obviously looking for mum. Where is she? There she is. There's mum there. Fly past of a swan. It's coming into land. Meet swan. Well, that's. I've had a great day today here at RSPB Langford Lowfields. I've had a good walk around the reserve. Um, weather conditions have been good. Um, species that we've seen today, mute swans, cormorants, geese, lapwings, shovelers, mallards, gadwalls, great crested grebe, little egret, grey heron, so a good fifth variety of um, birds on the reserve, including the smaller ones like reed buntings, long tailed tits, goldfinches, um, blue tits, grey tits. Um, yeah, so overall it's been a good day. I think for me the highlight was the hawker dragonflies. That's the first time I've ever videoed them up close like that. Um, I do have a passion for photographing them. Yeah, it's, it's been a great day. So I've really enjoyed this on the road trip with Kevin Hartley Photography. Um, there's more to come. All I would ask is that if you've liked what you've seen this morning on the walk around, um, Please like, uh, if you want to see any future vlogs that I do, then please subscribe to my channel, Kevin Hartley Photography. I greatly appreciate that because it gives me the incentive to get out there and do more of this in the wildlife and nature. So, until the next time, take care and stay safe. Bye.